today I'm going to be looking at the Atari 2600 emulator called Stella and I'll probably do this like I've done my Virtue Nest uh, emulator videos where I broke them down into separate videos rather than trying to cram everything into one because with only having 10 minutes that YouTube allows it really doesn't give me enough time to go through the whole thing so I'll probably just break these down uh, into separate videos and the first video uh, do, that I'm doing now is just going to be basically uh, downloading it, installing it, getting games, um, kind of getting it running a little bit and then in other videos I'll go over different features. Uh, my next video will probably cover uh, controller configuration for it. So to get started this is the home page right here and I'll have a link in the description. Uh, I'll probably give it the link to the download um, the download page. So what you want to do is come over here to download where it says stable releases and then come up here this is version 2.8.3 and it comes in an EXE, an executable, and it just tells you it's what it's good for XP and Vista. So I'm just going to go ahead, download this, and then I'm going to come over here in the top right where it says "Click here to download Stella manually." I'm going to click that, and I'm going to save it to my documents. I'm going to minimize this. Come over here to my documents. And they'll have the, the setup file here. So I'm going to click on that. Click run. Click next. Next. Go through this. Uh, check create a desktop icon. Click next and then install. And it installs pretty fast. And the next thing you want to do after you get it installed is go ahead and create a folder for your games, for your ROMs. And then you can name it whatever. You can name it uh, uh, Stella ROM Games or something. Just whatever. Any, just You just want to create a folder so that whenever you get your games uh, you've got a place to put them to. So now that we got that we're going to open up our Stella and when you first look at it it's going to look real confusing but it's not like um, it doesn't have a menu at the, at the top like uh, Virtue Nest did or a lot of other emulators might. Um, this when you open this up it's going to come to where uh, it, it's almost like opening up my computer if I go up there's actually your C drive and then you'll notice documents and settings program files in here like this so what we want to do is go into documents and settings or wherever um, go to wherever you saved your ROM folder to which is going to be my documents so you're going to have to navigate down through here until you find my documents and then you're going to see it right here Stella ROM games you can click on that and obviously there's nothing in it but I'm just showing you what, what, what you need to do and this right here to go back up you can either come down here to this where it says go up or just uh, I think click on that yeah and it takes you back to the previous folder now there's a way that you can do this so that when you open this up it'll take you right to your your games instead of having to go through all this um, navigating through but the first thing we're gonna do now is go ahead and get a couple games and I'm just gonna come back up here 
I'm going to come over here to the oldcomputer.com. This is where I get all my ROMs from. Atari 2600 ROMs. And I'm just going to pick... Uh, I'm going to pick asteroids just as just as an example. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to save it to my Stellar ROM games folder. I'm going to save it here. And you don't have to unzip these, I don't believe. On on this, I don't have to unzip them. And yeah, you'll get that annoying pop-up every time. So you have to just X out of that. But once you come in here, that's what you're going to get right there. Asteroids. So what I'm going to do now is go back into Stella. And I'm going to click on Options. Down here at the bottom, click on Options. Then go to Config Files. And then come up here to ROM Path. And then click on that. Uh, and then navigate back to your um, folder, back to your uh, your ROM folder, right here where it says Stellar ROM Games. Click on that, and then once you're in it, hit Choose. Click Choose, and what? And then click OK, and then exit. And what that does, that will. I uh, just to show you, I'm going to exit out. And then I'm going to open, up, open it back up, and it automatically takes you to your um, ROM folder so that you don't have to do all that navigating. Now, you still have the option to go back out of this if you choose to, but this will take you right into your uh, ROM folder. And so once you're here, you can uh, open up your game. And you're gonna have to try to do this at first. Uh, you, which I actually should have looked at the keyboard uh, shortcuts and all. But um, I will go. I'll cover more about the controls in the next uh, in the next video. But this will get you up and running. Um, you just have to know what keyboard shortcuts. So I'm just gonna just to exit out of this right quick. I'm gonna exit out of that. And uh, that's basically how you're going to get started. And you're just going to click on those, open up the games. Um, and that's basically how you're going to get started with this. And in the next video, I'm going to go a little further into depth about uh, controlling uh, how to use your gamepad. If you have a if you have a gamepad controller, and go into that a little bit. But this pretty much gets you set up. Um, get you started with everything. Um, so, see you later.